It's 7.33 p.m. on an early December evening in the year. You awaken from a slumber of indeterminate length. Was it five minutes or 40? Maybe a year? Time seems to have slipped away, leaving you dazed and confused. You look around the living room and everything feels off. It's your flat where you've lived for nine years, but it's not quite right. It's hard to describe, but it's as if something critical is missing or something uncanny has been added. You stretch and stand up, trying to shake off the strange sensation. The intercom rings out. Someone's calling from the street entrance. You aren't expecting any visitors, but you should probably see who it is. Hello? The end is upon us. Every passing moment brings you closer to your ultimate demise. Huh? What are you talking about? Hurry before it's too late. Only you can stop it. After you hang up the intercom, you get an unsettling feeling. The voice sounded eerily familiar. You try to push the thought away and tell yourself it was a cruel prank. Also, your stomach aches with hunger. It's almost dinner time and you'd better look for something to eat. But that warning, they said the end is near and only you can stop it. Could this somehow be related to the bizarre feeling you woke up with? For peace of mind, you're motivated to find out more. But where to start? The city streets might hold the answers you seek. I'm not in the mood to cook anything. Maybe there are some leftovers in the fridge. I'm running low on supplies. I should go to the grocery store, order delivery, or visit a kiosk. I don't have the focus right now to watch TV. has changed over the years, and although you miss its former appearance and the memories that came with it, you've grown to appreciate its current charm. The neon lights, the rain-soaked streets, the constant buzz of advertising and worrying vehicles, they merge to create a symphony of the city. You often find yourself relaxing on this balcony, taking in the view and letting the atmosphere wash over you. Enshrouded in a haze of confusion, you try to grasp how time is currently functioning. It seems, regardless of how long you've spent in an environment, time doesn't progress. Only when you move from place to place will a minute pass. The uncanny feeling with which you woke up persists and your discomfort grows. You wonder if you're still dreaming. Is anything around you even real? Only clothes, no bodies or skeletons in here. Nothing of interest. A few pairs of socks and a couple of handkerchiefs. I just woke up. I don't need to sleep again. It's too cold to open the window.
So that's my face. I barely recognize myself. Who am I? Have I always looked this way? The deeper I stare, the more unsettling it gets. I don't want to wash my hands right now. I don't need to use it right now. I don't think a bath will do me any good right now. I don't have anything to throw away. That's funny. I left my wallet behind this plant. I should take it. Huh. I don't remember leaving my keys in a shoe. Oh, well, at least I have them now. Kindly elderly lady looking for her cat. Have you seen my pussy cat? I'll keep an eye open for it. Do you mind chatting while we look? What's on your mind, dear? Was someone ringing at your buzzer and muttering some nonsense earlier? Do you mean the Jehovah's Witnesses? I haven't heard from them for a while, and they usually don't come at this hour. No, like someone saying that the end is coming, or something like that. That sounds like Alan, the vagrant who roams the streets. But he hasn't been bothering me this evening. Ugh, not even the demented want to talk to an old lady like me. Oh, come on. You're not that old. Oof, I'm much older than you think. I don't know about that. Guess how old I am. 73. Oh, sweet child, you're flattering me. I'm not that young anymore. I'm 92. Wow, 92. Congratulations, you look way younger. Oh, you're too kind. Have we been neighbors for a long time? Oh, don't you remember? I was here already when you moved in several years ago. Sorry, I'm a little out of sorts this evening. What can you tell me about this building? Ugh, not too much. I know it was built during the 2020s. Most of the residents are young families. I've seen many folks come and go during my time here. Alan, the receptionist, can tell you more. He's such a lovely bot with endless knowledge of our abode. You should try talking to him. Okay, thanks. Actually, I think I should go. Okay, bye. Let me know if you see my kitty. Kitty? Nothing in mine. I won't touch the others. Good evening, sir. What can I do for you? Do you work 24-7, non-stop? Precisely. My model is one of the best robot receptionists you can find on the market. All year round, day to night, Monday to Sunday. With 28 terabytes of space in the cloud to store all my data. Typing information down the sidereal gutter. Looking at humans walking by like dancers in the night. Organizing functional architecture like a formal life. And I only need maintenance twice a year. Don't you ever get tired or bored? I'm a machine. I'm not programmed for tiredness or boredom. I wish I were the same. Do not say that, sir. I saw the best robots of my generation destroyed by bugs, emotionally starving, and hysterical for a slice of human feeling. A fair number of robots crave to be human, while an equal number of your kind yearn for robotic consciousness, advanced programming, and the potential for eternal digital existence. Not me. It sounds like being a robot means losing your freedom and being forced to repeat the same actions again and again. No offense. Not taken. I have not been programmed to be offended. I don't perceive myself as a prisoner, 
Perhaps you could tell me what being a prisoner feels like. Every so often, a person wishes to broaden their horizons, explore an exotic country, or change jobs to escape the routine. Living in prison won't allow any of that. Humans need routine as much as they require change. Freedom can come from routine. I foresee this philosophical conversation lasting for hours. If someone might step in, I must be available to do my duties. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Can you tell me how long I've lived here? Absolutely. You moved in during my fourth year of service. Nine years, 34 days, and 21 minutes ago. Why do you ask? Are you feeling unwell, sir? This evening I feel rather confused. Everything seems so new to me, yet I have memories related to this place. As I stated, you've lived here for quite some time. Perhaps you're in distress. The causes can be multiple. Too much work, drugs, or head trauma. Sir, did you fall in the shower after work? I don't think so. I mean, my hair isn't wet. Unfortunately, I cannot aid you with this matter. Perhaps seek medical attention if the issue persists. Is there anything else, sir? Nothing. I have to go. It's plastic, but it adds to the ambiance. thunderous explosion. It sends a shockwave into your very core. You wonder what happened. It felt close, yet far. The tenant of 27.3 is invited to keep their television at an adequate volume. People want to sleep downstairs. It's not signed. As you step back inside your flat, you hear running water coming from the bathroom. Someone is taking a shower. Yet you are sure you were alone when you left. After a few moments in which you stay puzzled, the sound of the shower stops and the bathroom door opens. Hello, sweetheart. Are you okay? Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? I heard it too. And I've been trying to look online, but have yet to find an answer. What is this world coming to? Strange things are happening this evening. Oh, don't worry too much, okay? You look so lost. What troubles you? Sorry, for a moment I didn't recognize you. I'm feeling disoriented. I must be hungry. Do you have any thoughts about dinner? Eh, I have no idea. I was hoping you'd have something in mind. We can order in. How about Indian? Yeah, Indian sounds good. Can you wait another hour or so to order? I'm not hungry yet, as I had a late lunch. Fine. Are you sure everything is alright? I think I should go. Alright, I'm going to the bedroom to relax before dinner. What's shaking? What are you doing here? You weren't supposed to find me here yet. It's not even 7.57 p.m. Excuse me? Where's my girlfriend? You don't have a girlfriend. What? Forget it, okay? I won't even be here if you exit this room and come back in. There's nothing to worry about. I'm gonna call the police. As you wish. How is it possible that everybody's calm and I'm in this unending horror? I need answers! The answers are many. Find your own, keep looking, and keep living, dying, and being reborn for new answers. 
That's what this is all about. Whatever. I'll keep an eye open for it. What's on your mind? Did you hear that explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Explosion? No, I haven't heard anything of the sort. My hearing isn't what it used to be. Plus, all evening, I've been calling for sweet Puss Puss. Let me know if you see her, okay? Of course. Actually, I think... Okay, but... Good evening, sir. Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? How could I not have heard it? It shook the entire condo. Perhaps it was caused by an explosion from a gas leak a block away. Unfortunately, such mishaps are not rare events these days. However, there is no need to worry, as the maintenance in this building is up to snuff. Um, all right. Nothing. I have to go. Kitty? It was three minutes to eight and a man wearing a trench coat and fedora appeared out of nowhere and shot you in cold blood. It's 7.30, you look around the living room. The intercom rings out. Not much in here but this carton of milk. It passes the smell test, so I'll take it. Go away, I don't have time. The end is upon us. Huh? What are you talking? Hurry before it's too late. After you hang up the inter- But that warning. That's funny, I left my wallet. It needs to be refilled. I'm not interested in a home invasion. Enshrouded in a haze, the uncanny feel I'll keep an eye open for it. What's on your mind? Was someone ringing at your buzzer? Do you mean the Jehovah? No, uh, like someone saying that the... Mm, that sounds... Ugh, not even the... De you look pretty stylish for your age. Thanks. It's because I buy my clothes at Piero Bucci. And I wear Yukuto specs. But what really helps is my silver hair. And when I say silver, I don't mean just the color. Each strand was handcrafted by an artisan silversmith. Real silver? That's incredible. Isn't it? 
Keep in mind it wasn't cheap, but having hair so strong and resistant was worth every credit. Money well spent. Actually, I... Okay, but... Kitty? Refreshing. Food Delivery Express, how can I help you? I'm in the mood for margarita pizza. Sure thing. The estimated delivery time is 8.15 p.m. Shall I confirm your order? Sounds good. Wonderful. Please provide your address. Adams Street 42, flat 272. Thank you. Your food will be arriving shortly. Have a lovely evening. You too. Kitty! As you step back in, after a few moments, hello, sweetheart. Are you okay? Not really. I'm honestly surprised to even see you here. Who are you? My girlfriend or something? What the hell, honey? We've been together for years. Did you eat spicy food for lunch? You know how that screws up your dreams. I can't remember what I had for lunch. Surprised to see me here. I live here. Are you not so subtly telling me that I should move out? No, no, I I'm just a bit confused. What's up? Are you sure you're okay? I'm feeling all out of sorts. Can you help me understand what's going on? What do you mean by what's going on? You took a nap after work while I showered. We'll have dinner in a bit, then maybe watch some TV. Do you feel sick? Feverish? No, just my brain is a little foggy. You should rest a bit more. You're probably coming down with something. I need to stretch my legs and clear my head a bit. Something's off. Something's happening. Nothing is happening. Just try to relax. I've warned you about work stress. What's up? Are you sure you're okay? I think I should go. All right, I'm going to the bedroom to relax before dinner. You hear a thunderous... Set the neon lights. I don't want to jump. focus right now to watch TV. I love my couch, but I napped enough for today. What's shaking? What are you doing here? You weren't supposed to find me here yet. Excuse me? What? You don't have a girlfriend. What? Forget it, okay? I'm gonna call the police. How As is it possible wish. that everybody's caught? The answers are many. Whatever. This isn't the right thing to do.
At 7.57 p.m., you slipped and died. As you were hurrying around your apartment, your foot caught on the carpet and you fell backward. You didn't have time to catch yourself, crashing down with a deadly thud.